She was beautiful, um, inside and out. She was so smart, so smart. She graduated early with honors. She was a competition cheerleader. Um, when she graduated, she went to work at the bank and was going to school. Um, I believe it started while she was in high school. Pills here, little dabble here, little dabble there, uh, marijuana. Uh, and I think it just escalated further and further the older she got. Um, she passed away three years ago, July 22nd. She would have been 26 this year. You know, people ask me when she died, when we lost her. We lost her when the drug took over more than when she was there. She was no longer there. It was the drug controlling her. That was not my daughter. So it was long before she actually Long passed before away. she actually passed away. Going through it, you just say, why can't you stop doing this? How hard can this be? Just don't do it. And that's just ignorance. Yeah. And my husband happened to be home, coming home at that time, and caught them in the house. And, um, we actually had an opportunity to have her arrested and get her off the streets. And a lot of people said, I could never do it. I could have never done that. How could you have done that? Well, you're saving their life. I absolutely, hands down, would do it again in a heartbeat because I knew where she was and I knew she was eating and I knew she was warm. And I knew she had a roof over her head and that I could see her. I could see her every Sunday and I did. And the longer she was in there, the more I saw my daughter come around. My daughter was back. They think they have to be strong. Mm -hmm. Crying is not a weakness. Crying is a release of love that has nowhere else to go. Right, right. And cry with them, say their name, talk about them, tell stories, laugh. That is so important. Never, never, never be afraid to say their name. That's good advice. Never be afraid. Mm -hmm. That's what we live for. Yeah. When my husband says Lexi's name, I melt. Yeah. I melt. I get tears in my eyes every time. Um, but there was so much clothes left over, and I, I'm not one to store it away so I can pull it out and cry over it later. That's not who I am. Um, so I marched my tail up to Walmart and I got a bear pattern. A teddy bear pattern. A teddy bear pattern. And me and my best friend and my mom started making Lexi bears. And this was made specifically out of her clothing, different pieces of clothing. Mm -hmm. And we would make bears and stuff them. And first it started out just family members. And then more and more people wanted them. Um, and then people found out they weren't part of our family, that I had last, lost loved ones, and they wanted us to make them for them. How sweet. So we do. And it is an honor to make these bears from mothers that have lost their children, or a husband that's lost their wife, or children that have lost their mom or dad. I just, I want people to know they are not alone. There are people out there that are experiencing this every day. And especially with drug overdoses, it is a hidden secret. Families don't want to talk about it. And that's not helping anyone. If you actually opened up and talked about it, you would be shocked the people that actually open up and talk. 
that they don't want to talk about it, that they've never talked about it. Well, I know last year when I caught wind of this event, I was scared. I had not publicly come out and, and said my daughter died of a drug overdose. I, I didn't, I wouldn't. Again, the secrets and let's, you know, let's not talk about it. But that event, we made shirts for that event. And when we ordered shirts, we had over 60 shirts that were ordered. And when we showed up for that event in her shirt, I said, no more, keep them quiet. People need to know. I don't want another family to lose somebody. These are people that are so mixed up in this, they feel there is no hope, there's no way out. Never stop loving them, never stop telling them you love them. They already have guilt. Yeah, exactly. They already feel the burden. They know what they're doing to their family. There is a way out. There is a way. We're gonna find it. Yeah. We're going to talk about it, and we're not going to let one more pass. Not one more.